The Medicines Manufacturing Innovation Centre is a group within Monash University and we sit within the Monash Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences. We run an open access analytical facility where people can book instruments and get access to the world-class infrastructure. And we work closely with any research institution or companies who are developing a new product or a new medicine and looking to scale up their manufacturing so that we can increase the potential exports from Australia uh, and build our capabilities in manufacturing products. The Medicines Manufacturing Innovation Centre bridges the gap between academic research and commercial R&D, research and development, by bringing together a multidisciplinary team of research scientists who are focused on working with our clients to help create the next generation of medicines. The research environment at MMIC is very collaborative. We are not just a service provider. We become a partner with the clients in their projects. We co-design the experiments that are really going to help move their asset forward. We are very fortunate that we are housed within the Australian Synchrotron. So we have access to these amazing infrastructure that provides beam lines to do different kinds of work, be it solution scattering, powder diffraction, x-ray diffraction, medical imaging. So we have access to this unique infrastructure here. And not just Australian Synchrotron, but at Monash University, the kind of infrastructure and the, the equipment that we have would be probably very hard for industry to get access to if they were not leveraging an ecosystem like the Monash Universities. One of the points of differentiation with MMIC and how we engage with the projects and the clients that we're working with, the staffing model allows us to have a number of people step into a project as needed and step away from the project. We can bring the added resource and we can work on industry timelines because that's incredibly important. My name's Dr. Tree Hong Nguyen. I'm the Senior Operations Manager for the Medicines Manufacturing Innovation Centre. That involves a lot of uh, facility management, um, stakeholder engagement, both internal and external, um, business development activities, and just ensuring things run smoothly across the organisation. The MMIC has a very unique operating model in that we leverage what we say the best of both worlds. So we leverage the expertise, the unique infrastructure, um, and the equipment that comes from the university environment, but apply it to challenges that are faced by industry. Our team has a discussion with them, understands their challenges and problems, and then proposes a bespoke scope of work that addresses their immediate scientific and also strategic objectives. We had a, a industry client, um, a biotech company that had a unique compound for uh, neuropathic pain. The challenge was that the compound didn't really dissolve in any aqueous solutions, which really limited its ability to be actually used as an injection. Coming to us at the MMIC, our team worked with that uh, formulation for about a few weeks and we were able to increase the solubility of that compound by a thousandfold. And in doing so, we were able to actually allow that formulation to progress to uh, clinical assessments and clinical trials. During my second year as a pharmaceutical scientist um, in my bachelor's, I saw that there was a summer internship at the MMIC and I applied immediately as I found that um, I was interested in the pharmaceutical industry at the time and found that it was the perfect opportunity. I used a lot of HPLC. That's where I picked up a lot of HPLC technique within the lab. I got to do it firsthand by having someone mentor me and then um, doing it by myself. It shaped my career goals in a really big way in the sense that it's given me a broad understanding of the pharmaceutical industry. While MMIC has a strong industry focus, its breadth of expertise and resources can equally be applied to projects within Monash. Every year, thousands of women die from a preventable condition of excessive blood loss after childbirth. Oxytocin is the gold standard treatment to prevent and treat excessive blood loss. But unfortunately, it's not always available. The product requires refrigeration and injection both of which are barriers in low resource settings. An inhaled oxytocin has been developed for frontline use. There's no refrigeration, there's no injection, and there's no delay. So what we're looking to do is actually provide a first aid option to allow that person to get to the care that they need to stop the hemorrhage. 
we now have a formulation that can be stored for up to three years outside of the refrigerator and will also withstand very high temperatures. In addition to that, our clinical trials have shown that if you deliver oxytocin in a powder form into the lungs, you can get exposure in the blood, which is similar to that in the injection, which reassures us that the product will be as effective as the injection. My hope for future investment and development of inhaled oxytocin is that we can unite and bring together the people who are motivated to provide a solution for women who are dying unnecessarily. We are asking governments, non-government organisations, private partners, healthcare workers, clinicians to come together and form a private public partnership so that we can bring this product to the finish line and make sure it's available for the women who need it most. The inhaled oxytocin product is ready. It's so close. And what we really want is to get it to the finish line. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.